How many of you know about this brand called Dermatecture? Apparently, it's closing down, but only to come back in some new form. But how many of you had heard about it? I myself don't think I had heard about it more than a month ago, maybe even less. And the moment I heard about it was exactly when it was closing down, coincidentally. But as it was closing down, it was it went on an offer of say fifty. That is the promo code, not promo code. Well, that's the discount code you could use and have flat fifty percent off. So I went and ordered because I had already liked their items, ah, uh, their plain list of ingredients, their lack of fragrance in any of the ingredients, and yeah, I mean, I really like the plainness and the simpleness of the brand. So when it went on flat fifty off. that was actually also the same time when i was suffering from really sensitized skin and i really needed some moisturizing hydrating uh humectant kind of ingredients in my skin care so i went ahead and ordered and i think i purchased for 2200 or something and then i had to pay uh I think half of that, which was eleven hundred plus the shipping charges, which was I don't know seventy five or one seventy five. So I want to share with you because today, just today, I received all these items, and I want to share with you how they are, what they are like, just so that you know, you know, kind of what to expect from that brand. Ah. Uh, You can say maybe they are trying to copy the ordinary, um, which is fine because uh, ordinary products are as it is expensive in India. So if there's a brand which comes up and gives you kind of what the ordinary gives you at a cheaper price, what's wrong about it? So the first is the NMF Skin Barrier Cream. It's a natural moisturizing factor skin barrier cream. Um. The ingredients are pretty interesting. Actually, all of their ingredients are pretty interesting. They have, I think, uh, a nice mixture of uh, hydrating stuff in their ingredients. So it is deionized water, urea, propane diol, olive squalane, which is really nice. All of these urea, you know, there are no. I don't think there are any kind of much filler kind of ingredients in their. a uh, product so it is like caprylic capric triglycerides cetyl alcohol and cetyl glucoside centella asiatica extract and sodium lactate vegetable glycerin niacinamide pantenol sorbitol sugar beet extract so all the good things i mean i have nothing you know this is one brand i think this and be minimalist uh These are two brands that I don't really find anything in them to really complain about. Um so uh I really want this brand to come back. I don't know probably the person who started the brand um I think they were feeling like they just don't want to be selling actives because I read one post when they announced that they are closing down they were like uh, we don't want to be selling just actives. which is fine you know because everyone has different aims and dreams in life so maybe they have bigger or different dreams as they mentioned also in their post that they wanna be making a greater impact and i don't know stuff like that which is fine i understand you know i think i also not i think but i actually have been through that phase where i was uh doing a business i started a business and then i realized that no i want to be doing something greater than this and i want to be reaching more lives than this so yeah i had to like decide that i want to close it down so i understand Let's see how much I can foam with that. Not much. It smells like coconut oil.
I'm wondering if I should take a bit more of the cleanser or if this is enough. Maybe it just foams less, but it's enough. Actually, I want to use it on my neck too. So I'm taking the same um, quantity for my neck. skin of color uh, and also there's this uh, youtuber she's a cosmetic formulator called dr vanita ratan i would strongly recommend you check out her channel and her videos the ingredients for this citric acid cleanser which i just used and you saw it doesn't really foam much uh, so instead of water they have a rose hydrosol base i like that part uh, then there's sodium coke oil glutamate, the reason for which I was having the very strong coconut oil odor or aroma, depends how you perceive it uh, while washing. Uh, then there's centella asiatica, licorice root extract, green tree, green tea extract, vegetable glycerin, citric acid, allantoin, disodium, EDTA and broad spectrum preservative. Broad spectrum preservative could be the usual uh, preservatives which they use in skin care. So... Let me just uh, tone my skin and then put my um, thing, my uh, niacinamide serum. Or maybe I should use the high, the hyaluronic acid serum of theirs first. I'm toning my skin with the Dermafique toner. I really like this toner. I'll mention the link to, the, uh, to this in the description box. Do make it a habit to check out the description box under my videos because sometimes I post some updates or something which I've missed out to mention in the video. So yeah. So after this I'm thinking to use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Yeah, whatever this thing is supposed to be with the hole inside. It's not coming out with that so I'll be inserting the dropper which they have uh, provided with it. And it's a glass bottle. That was like two and a half drops which I used. Uh, the ingredients are again rose hydrosol as the base. And aloe vera, green tea extract, licorice root extract, propane diol, sodium lactate. Vegetable, glycerin, sorbitol, urea, colloidal, oatmeal, soy extract, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, panthenol, allantoin, disodium EDTA, broad spectrum preservative. So basically, uh, all the ingredients after hyaluronic acid would I think be at a percentage of less than 2% because hyaluronic acid is added to serums and whatever else only at a percentage of 2 to 1% in order for it to be really effective okay so just uh, I'll just uh, in the meanwhile also use the St. Potnica's hyaluronic acid hydro boost under eye recovery serum just a little bit if I can show you I'll just use this around my eyes it was a very little quantity yeah 
I know I'm just being too savvy right now maybe <laughs> like using multiple products I'm I don't think I have bought uh, products for my eyes before I just never ended up using them so I stopped buying things separately for my eyes if you've seen my morning skincare uh, video you would have seen the unboxing of this and how I plan to use this basically I was planning to use this as a humectant for my entire face not just my under eyes and okay so the hyaluronic acid from Dermy texture is like it's kind of sticky right now but not in a bad way I think it's pretty good okay what should be our next step? oh my niacinamide I used the niacinamide serum for the Dermaco, from the Dermaco. I think two drops should be fine. It's absorbed, seems absorbed. Just give it a final pat. Alright. Now what can we use? I would generally go with the Clinique Moisture Surge or the um, Re-Equal uh, Skin Radiance Cream which I use as a moisturizer. I've given a review for this. I'll link it up. You can watch that. Not something that I'm impressed with. But since I do have the product left, I use it as a moisturizer in the morning so right now for today what should we go with the NMF skin barrier cream or the multivitamin dream, dream creme <sighs> okay I would probably use the NMF skin barrier cream in the night tonight and I'll use a multivitamin dream creme in the day because in the day I feel like we need more of a antioxidant protection and in the night we need more of a hydration so but I'll show you the swatch of this okay so the multivitamin dream creme comes in a glass jar unlike the NMF skin barrier cream which comes in an acrylic jar so this is how it is there's some coming off on the lid that should be enough mmm it's nice the texture is nice and moisturizing Now, even so now, let me just top it up with the, this thing, the NMF Skin Barrier Repair. Oh, so this is like a thick cream, unlike the multivitamin dream cream. So this is thick, thicker. The product has started to ball up 
which means I should not have used this one that I'm using on the top. Mm -mm. Huh. So yeah, I was I was right to just probably maybe leave use one of these like not use the two of them together so um right now i can't give a review on any of the products because this is just my first use and products generally require some time for them to really show their results so probably by the time these products show their results the brand would not be making any more products I'll try to quickly edit this video, I'll just do a little bit of editing, not much, so that I can quickly upload it on YouTube because the brand, I think even today, it is still selling with the discount code of SAVE50 where you will be able to get a flat 50% off. Um, what else do I want to say? Uh, this one I noticed, uh, even before buying actually the NMF Skin Barrier Cream, Dimethicone, the rest of the products did not have it and um, I think this is a brand you should really uh, try out and see uh, especially I think if you're trying to uh, resurrect the moisture barrier of your skin this is a brand and their products that you should really try uh, because this, they do seem to have some really good moisturizing and um, hydrating products uh, but as it is just by looking at the ingredients of a jar you can't make 100% of the prediction because uh, the quality of ingredients matter how they are formulated matter so 10% niacinamide for example uh, from one brand is not going to be the same as from another brand you know, rest of the ingredients in the product, they matter, how they are formulated, as I said, that matters. And the source of the ingredient also matters. So, I learned, maybe I'll make a review of how these products have done for me. And uh, with a lot of fingers crossed and with a lot of positive hope, I have ordered these products because I am suffering from dehydrated skin. And as I go more into the winters uh, I'll probably be having more of that problem of not just dry skin but dehydrated skin too uh, see dry skin is very easy to uh, treat I think because you know there's so much you can use you can use oils balms and so much but when it comes to hydration that gets tricky because how do you put water into your skin? You can always seal your skin with an oil and occlusive. But humectants I feel are tricky. But I don't have that much experience either. So from my little bit of understanding of things, uh, hydration is important and that is done through humectants. So like um, these, uh, this one, uh, the NMF Skin Barrier Cream. So basically... Uh, is th this these kind of creams are important they have urea they have squalane and because these are very hydrating things uh, for your skin so I have high hopes and um, uh, I don't know maybe you want me to maybe I didn't show you the texture properly so I'll just show you again uh, the multivitamin dream creme is like a very thin texture okay and the nmf skin barrier cream has a thicker texture if you can see yeah so i'll show you here uh well, it seems to have a thicker texture, though I'm not able to show it in the video, but definitely. Um, this one has 10% squalane. 
yeah i'll mention i'll try to mention all the ingredients and the description okay and the hyaluronic acid is i i found it very watery the good part is that all of these come in dark jars so that's going to block the light which would really help the uh, actives from degrading or deactivating you know because some actives most of the actives actually they are photosensitive so uh yeah that was it for today i'll see you again bye and this is a lip balm which i made 2 3 days ago that's going to be my last step Of course, after the sunscreen. Oh, by the way, I recently ordered the Reequil sunscreen, the twenty gram packaging, and I'll just show you the texture for this too. It smells like Johnson's baby. Ah. Uh, diaper rash powder if you've used it you would know the thing with sunscreen is to use it um uh, amply and to rub it in your skin not just apply it and leave it like that no to actually rub it massage it in your skin so i have noticed as i did with the dermaco sunscreen that these are silicone based sunscreen even this one the reequil one is silicone based and They don't really absorb into the skin. How can they? I mean, silicones are such big molecules; they just sit on top of your skin. So some of you might find this irritating. I do find this irritating, but then I also have to look at rest of the th things. Like this is not only SPF fifty, but also PA four pluses, not just three. Usually, you have products with three. P A plus plus plus. This is P A plus 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 plus. So yeah. <laughs> Looking for a good sunscreen these days? Yes, you can try out the Reequil one. Definitely, it has all the good uh, things. Uvenol. It's a, a chemical based sunscreen, but yeah, it has. a lot of good ingredients so if you're looking for a chemical based sunscreen then you can go for this one i'll mention the link in the description bye